Hi everybody and welcome back to Silent Scotty's Game World. Hope you guys are all doing well out there today. I wanted to show you guys my settings for American Truck Simulator. A lot of you guys have been wondering my settings and controls and buttons. All that good stuff here for American Truck Sim. So I'll go ahead and show you guys this and explain a few of them as well. But uh, I use a Logitech G29. So if you guys use a G29, a G920, or a G923, I would recommend these settings. I've been using these for uh, the past... Man, what, three, four years? I've been dialing in my settings here. So we'll go through them and uh, I'll let you guys know here. We'll go through them, but if anything you guys need to see, just hit that pause button to go ahead and take a look at it. Uh, this is just gameplay. A lot of stuff is personal preference as far as uh, random road events, detours, rain, time zone. A lot of that stuff is just personal preference. First thing we'll get into here is our truck settings. So this will be your transmission type and all that good stuff. Um, so you see I got mine set up as 8 shifter as I use a 18 speed transmission man about 99% of the time brake intensity you guys this is where I leave my brake intensity I never really adjust that that's where I pretty much keep that all the time my truck and trailer stability I keep that a little higher for multiplayer and then suspension stiffness I recommend running that a little bit lower because then you get that roll of the truck in the corners and whatnot so just uh, just adjust those a little bit and uh, see what you think about them I do uh, use advanced coupling a lot of stuff is unkey bind here um, air brake simulation I do use that one important thing in, he in here, guys, is the cruise control. Now, you can change your, your cruise control tolerance right here to zero. So, uh, your cruise control will stay right at, say you set that at 70, it'll stay right at 70, and it won't go over, it won't go under. You know, give and take if you're going up up or down a steep grade or whatnot. But uh, definitely would recommend you guys change that to zero. If you have an engine retarder, that uh, cruise control is awesome, and it generally don't go over one or two miles per hour so definitely recommend that you guys cruise control for the win another good thing uh, in here if you guys are playing on single monitors a really good feature is these camera settings um, camera steering camera rotation if I could read here just tick that box you guys and then when you turn your uh, your steering wheel in game it will actually turn your head a little bit so you can see the mirrors and whatnot I definitely uh, definitely like it with minimal usage you can turn it up a little bit but just adjust that play around with a little bit you guys I would highly recommend that if you're on single monitors as I was using that for a little bit and I do like it. A lot of stuff down here is personal preference, mental main, as far as uh, the weight units go, and all that stuff down here. The next one we'll jump into, guys, is keys and buttons. Now, there's not really too much stuff in here to uh, to see. I've unkeybind a lot of my stuff. Um, I would highly recommend you guys unkeybind your space bar as your parking brake, so you don't accidentally hit that, as we've done that many, many times. So definitely uh, unkeybind that. But the rest of my stuff is keybind here to um, a button box or my joystick. Um, you can keep on your windows in there and stuff like that. A lot of stuff in here, guys, I have not used. I have never even tested out. I probably don't even know about it. They've had so much stuff in these updates. But uh, down here, camera controls. This is kind of an important one here. I use my Logitech joystick for a lot of my my camera controls. But a lot of good camera controls you can uh, you can keep on here. Man, first person, third person, and uh, yeah, lots of good ones here. There is a really good feature down here as well, guys. It's an in interior zoom camera. But if we haven't passed it yet, here it is. Interior, uh, zoom interior camera. That is a really good feature. I don't believe that is keybinded by default. So keybind that to a button. That just zooms in. So if you're looking straight and you need to like zoom in and see something, that will zoom in so you can see it. That is a really good feature. So definitely uh, keybind that one as far as that goes in keys and buttons. I think that's pretty much it. Walk and mode, that's for the garage. I think that was adding in like 1.38 or something like that. Man, and all that stuff here. Your personal preference. I mean. Yeah, screenshot all that stuff, man. Oh, you know what that one is? Pause extended view. Experimental. Hmm. Never seen that before. Alright, let's get into the important one, guys, which is the controls. You can see I got my control set up here. I do use a Logitech G29. I use a splitter shifter. I use the Thrustmaster TH8 shifter. And uh, I use my 3D Extreme Pro. Like I said, my joystick for my camera. And then I use an ASP button box. So you see I have them selected up there. My controller subtype is wheel. Transmission type is eight shifter and uh, Important ones up here would be your steering sensitivity. Now, that's kind of personal preference, but just depends uh, I keep mine right there I would say put it at 50% and then adjust it if you need to steering nonlinear I keep that zeroed out really no no need for that Most important ones down here guys to get the full simulation effect mental main is the force feedback now uh, First thing I'd recommend is your dampers a lot of people don't like the dampers when they first get it So uh, turn the dampers down I have still never really turned my dampers back up, but I keep dampers kind of low, collision low, train and engine lower. And then the more important ones to me is the centering and the, uh, the stiffness here. 
Now you can adjust your center spring in the Logitech G Hub software, but I I adjust mine mostly just right here. So that's where I keep mine. There's not a whole lot of a uh, lot of centering, but just enough there, and the stiffness ain't too bad. So that's where I keep my force feedback settings mental main and that's why i would recommend you guys give that a shot and uh just adjust them accordingly nice guys can always change your settings to mine and then adjust them you know here and there to your liking so this is kind of a guide to help you guys out a little bit i guess mental main now we'll get down to the important stuff guys the shifting mental main i do use 18 speed shifter or, or transmission all the time on america truck sim pretty much no matter what shifter layout it is, is on advanced this way i can float float gears, mental main, all that fun stuff, and then uh, my advanced only, I think you have to have that on clutch and throttle for floating, but correct me if I'm wrong on that one, mental main, but that's why I got my settings there for my H shifter, and then everything keep mind in here as well, would definitely uh, recommend setting up that way if you guys are using an 18 speed gearbox as well, but I think that pretty much covers all my settings, you guys, if there's anything in here you missed, or if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment or ask down below. You can also uh, join our Discord too. There is a link to our Discord down there in the description. But I hope these things were able to help you guys out a little bit. And, uh, man, oh man, like I said, I've been using these things for quite a while. So, would we'll definitely recommend these things, guys, for the Logitech G29. So, give them a shot, guys. Let me know what you think. If you find anything that's, uh, that's better, you enjoy more, let me know. Or let us know in the comment section down below. That'll do it for this video. I will catch you guys here real soon. So, until the next one, I'm Silent Scotty, and I'll see you then.